Could all-electric squad cars be patrolling our streets soon? LA Mayor Eric Garcetti says that's the goal, as the LAPD tests two high-end vehicles that run completely on battery power. Gil Reyes shows us. LA Mayor Eric Garcetti behind the wheel of one of the LAPD's newest all-electric cars. The BMW i3 is under lease for research only to determine if it fits the department's needs. So would you like to have one of those? <laughs> Maybe one day when I retire. It's a little out of my range right now, but I'm, I'm glad we're testing it. And if we can get a more affordable version for our police officers, it certainly saves us money over time and it's worth uh, investigating. Whether or not battery electric beamers will be chasing bad guys one day, a bold commitment is already made. At this news conference at police headquarters, Mayor Garcetti says L.A. will soon have the biggest pure electric fleet of any city in the nation. 160 electric vehicles will soon be leased of various makes and models to the LAPD, LA City Fire, General Services Department and the Department of Water and Power, helping to save fuel and the environment. EVs are really the way of the future and we want to do our part. Also under consideration by the LAPD, this Tesla Model S P85D. It can go 0 to 60 in just over three seconds. Starting price, $105,000. Not cheap, but then again, no gas is ever needed. What an amazing transition from the 8 mile a gallon Plymouth to a vehicle like the Tesla or the BMW. I think that today, this announcement will ripple across the nation. As a challenge to other U.S. cities to go electric. In downtown L.A., Gil Reyes for L.A. This Week. In addition to the new EVs, the city plans to lease 128 plug-in hybrids, which can run on electric batteries and gasoline.